And we're back. Continuing on, I think we are very close to finishing this up, but I'm hitting some snags. I'm low on resources because I messed up because of that stupid, um, you know, nemesis wannabe. But, okay. I was reading. I, I read. I'm looking at the guide still. Sorry. I wasn't trying to use that, but it's been a couple of days and I'm just completely lost and I don't remember, like, lots of information. But, okay. I go, maybe we gotta find a ring. No. There was... This was the secret meeting area. Well, you know, we found two diary entries that make this point about interacting with a statue. There you go. You can see the segment in the finger. That opens a path when you interact with the finger of a statue from an angel in the back of the tomb. <clears throat> That's where we go down. The rancid smells, and this was like in those diary entries, it just looped around. Where do we go now? No, is this different? Okay, this is different. Stuck. Okay. Okay. Because we found two diary entries that talked about, um, you know, it's like, who could perform medical procedures in a place like this? Uh, probably not very helpful ones. <clears throat> uh, members of the uh, sect are getting restless. We have fewer twin babies to offer, and our attempts to force their conception in the test subjects have wholly failed. We have only managed to get defective specimens, Siamese uh, fetuses that are so misshapen that they are in incapable of surviving long enough after a cesarean section. If this continues, I will lose my position as High Priest of the Pollock Sect. I'm afraid that without my leadership, the other members will grow bolder. This might might raise suspicion about our cult. Okay. So, yeah, in order to try and create twins, in order to perform these rituals, but they, you know, they're failing and, you know, producing horrible uh, things... I am thinking though. <clears throat> sometimes I dream at night in my dream. Uh, sometimes I dream at night. In my dreams, the wind dances with the smell of flowers and caresses my face. The afternoon sun paints the clouds behind the mountains in sepia and lilac tones. My heart fills with joy. I'm standing on a beautiful balcony full of plants and flowers, all of them full of life. I go back inside the room and see the wall covered with gorgeous green wallpaper. The place smells wonderfully of lavender. There is a big mirror in front of me. I go to it, slowly unable to resist the curiosity, and my reflection appears on the glass. That's me, but not exactly. The person in the reflection has clean and treated hair. Her smooth skin glows with a slight tan. Her lips are as red as ripe fruit. I admire her for a few moments with nothing but envy, and suddenly, my chest tightens. Rage poisons my blood and my eyes turn red and give in to the murder, murder instinct. I hurl myself to the neck of that person, that person so similar to me, but whose confused eyes betray her as an imposter. I feel the pressure of the blood on her car 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 corroded artery through my fingers. Her mouth tries to articulate a word, but I push even harder. I'm afraid of what she might say. I push even more. I uh, push some more. I wake up in the dark, soaking in sweat. The sound of sewer water and the air currents make me realize that I am in my room, but the lavender smell carries on, floating a few moments until it escapes completely through the bars. This... Grandfather Noah came to her room. He was company. This is Anna's diary. And I'm guessing she's seeing an image of us, the person who got away and is very upset. Sorry, I am turned around. Ooh.
I saw you twitch there. You got juggled. Okay, so we gotta find a way down. Giant, looks like a vault door. There's a path it looks like. I was gonna say drowned. An old television dial. Okay. Something in front of the scanner. Another thing to place in front of a scanner. Okay, so we need two things. Well, it's a scanner. <laughs> Rotten corpses are scattered all over. They were submerged under the water this whole time. Okay. I'm guessing scanner, I'm guessing I need eyes. Okay, where was I? There was a pathway here. There's... Sorry, I heard noise and it's behind me. Okay, back. Sorry, heard noises behind me. Okay. Sorry, it's dark. I know I got... shells that's something at least oh there we go I was like but only like two oh sweet six okay we got another save point grandfather Noah came to my prison with a revolver to his head when I turned to him he stepped back and he kept the gun level you are alive he said surprised after all these years you are alive I was stunned. It was him. Really him. <clears throat> the man who imprisoned me and left me forgotten all these years. I wanted to throw myself at him, but he had a gun pointed at me, and I knew, better than anyone, the terrible physical condition my imprisonment had put me in. This is very fortunate. A sign of God. He continued, I will finally have what the Wildberger twins together. Once Anna arrives, we will finally open the vault and gain access to the temple. Just a little longer, my child. Just a little longer. After that, he walked out without returning back. I followed him to the exit, but as expected, he had locked it. This is the last thing I will write. I have been prisoner down here all these years, but if, think if he thinks he, can he has control over my destiny, he is wrong. To open the temple entrance, he needs this a set of twins to offer themselves to the, the retina scanners. He needs the two of us, Emma and me. <clears throat> he will not use my eyes. I will stop him. The blade is red hot. I have to do this. Emma, if you ever read this, do all you can to survive. Live a normal life. Forget about me. And if you see Father, do not tell him that I was locked down here all these years. What I'm about to do to myself, I do not want him to see me like that. Let, let this be my last decision. The final decision I made for myself. Christ. Okay. <clears throat> Emma, don't come to the vault. Save yourself from hell. It's a warning for Emma, one of the missing twins. 
<laughs> it may be possible that one of the girls is inside the vault. I must find a way to get in. You idiot. <laughs> she doesn't know. Okay. I mean, we're obviously... Okay, wait, no. Uh, we just had a thing with the save code. Shoot, where was it? Two... Start right two, eight, four, three, six. Oh, uh, TV dial, maybe? Hold on. Oh, we don't open it from this side. Someone was living here. Wonder who? I just realized, wasn't it the ghost that cracked? What? Is this <clears throat> my room? But this is hundreds of miles away from the mansion. How can this be possible? It happened again last night. I had a nightmare. The one where I fall into the void, squeeze my eyes tight, and an icy cold hits my back. When I finally open my eyes, I see dirty water running through stone channels and pipes, leading down the endless tunnels with arc ceilings. I see shadowy human silhouettes and misshapen heads projected onto moldy walls. A man in a radioactive suit grabs my arm, and with a guttural roar yells, Let the ritual begin. I wake up drenched in a fetid sweat, take the sheets off my body, and put my feet on the floor, only to discover that it, is too, that it too is wet. I turn on the lamp to find a room not my own, and the wall's dirty, and the window <clears throat> that faces the street now, the mouth of a dark tunnel, where sewage flows. I get up numb. A stream of putrid cold air hits me, and when I look at my reflection in the mirror, I see myself, but dressed in rags, my hair dirty and matted, confused and scared. It is me, or so it seems. But there is something in her eyes that I do not recognize. The person on the other side of the mirror stretches out her arms and grabs me by the neck. You left us here. I wake up back in my room, the light from the street lamps entering through the window, silhouetting the leaves of the plants. I slowly remove my hands from my neck, and the TV turns on. I pinch myself to make sure that this is, this time I am awake. The dial turns to the right, and at times to the left. The TV shows seemingly random images, but always the same. My diary. Caroline. So, yeah, she's getting, like, um, you know, twin telepathy... Hold on. TV dial. Oh. Hmm. I was going to say, she's getting, like, twin telepathy. She's seeing what, um, <clears throat> Anna is seeing. The bright day outside. Of if this is even real, hold on. Two, eight, four, three, six. Okay, my bad. Oops. One, two, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Nope. I feel like this is. <clears throat> I was going to say, this feels like, but if we go back, the safe is fixed. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Six, 
that? Am I getting it wrong? Am I just misremembering all the details? Two, eight, four, three, six. Wait, yeah. Okay, sorry, I had to... Ugh, why? Okay. <clears throat> okay, apparently this is the default position. Sorry, I'm looking at the guide again, and it says you have to start on the yin-yang symbol, and I go, why the hell? Okay, but... Okay. Okay, wait a second. Okay. <clears throat> a necklace with a sun design. Emma. Okay. Oh, God, where was that? Okay, now if we go back to... Shoot. Okay, yeah, we definitely gotta run back all the way back out of here. Necklace with a moon design. Anna. Okay. Sorry, I'm looking at it, it's like, it's giving me the same... Ugh. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> I was gonna say, can we... Necklace combine the sun and the moon. I think I know where we gotta bring this. Okay, this was alluded to as being a thing. Hold on. Might as well save. Because now we gotta run all the way back out <clears throat> to the child's room. Where we I first saw the... In the sewers. I can't help but feel that this is the place I've seen in my darkest nightmares. Sorry, what? Sorry, I'm looking at the guy and it's just like, turn the dial like 8574 and it's like, but where'd you get those numbers? The stench, the cold, the dirt, the wet. It all resembles the horrible nightmares I've been having lately. The mirror in this room takes me to my actual room, <clears throat> miles away from the hospital. Supposedly. I looked out the big window in my room and had to gather all my willpower not to shatter the mirror behind me, open the window, and jump out into the yard. Something inside me knows that this is where I should be. I have to help those girls. One of them is in the sewers. I need to find a way to help them. Uh-huh. Now, where do we go and how do we get out of here? Because <clears throat> now we gotta go to the child's room, I bet, because there was like, insert, you know, it looks like a socket, and now we have those necklaces combined. Sorry, I'm glad I've had the guide. I'd be ripping my hair out, because like, what are, is some of these? Like, hold on. Like, don't get me wrong, this atmosphere is, like, really effective, and some of the puzzles are really smart. This back half is so freaking confusing. And I'm just like, I'm not sure, like, where some of these solutions are.
I think we've been here. Yeah. That loops us back around. <clears throat> okay, it was easier to get here than I thought. I went the wrong way anyways. Say artist mom, doctor dad. <clears throat> Jeez, sorry. Oh, oh, my head. Oh. Oh, my head. What is this? I know this song. I know it. It's the song my sister and I used to listen to when we were children. My sister. My sister Anna. I remember. I am Emma. The girl who fell from the bridge 14 years ago. All this time, I've kept the traumatic memories hidden inside my head. But this song has set them free. Fair, you've been through some stuff and it's been pretty bad. Anna, you have been <coughs> alone in the dark this whole time. And might be dead. I don't know if you are still there, but I promise I will do everything in my power to find you. It's time to find out what's behind the vault door in the sewers. How though? I've used to find two at all. But that was just creepy. <laughs> I spent a lot of time playing with this dollhouse. Suffering. Mother told us to stay away, but we didn't listen. We decided to investigate the forest next to the main garden. We were curious, but when we heard the hitting and screaming sounds, I got scared and asked Emma to go to the house. She insisted on seeing <clears throat> where the noises <clears throat> were coming from. She went ahead and I followed. With a glade, uh, within a glade, we discovered three men in full body outfits. They stood under a hu huge rocks carved with symbols and were using hammers to hit large red stained bags, which seemed to writhe. One of them poured some liquid over the bag and they set it on fire. The bag started to move with more force. I got scared and snapped the twig I was holding. The men looked in our direction and pointed towards us. I took Emma by the wrist and ran. We broke through thorny bushes, all the time listening to the men's fading shouts. Finally, we made it to the mansion, but the pretty dresses Mother had made were ruined. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> metal fishing hook with a sharp point. Huh. Oh, memories are weird. Fishing hook. What do we do with this? Sorry, that goes back to one of, uh, Yeah, where Maria's. Here we go. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so this was kind of like the, you know, the setting where in one of Maria's notes, like, they went to play in the woods and they got their dresses ruined. And then it's just like, well, here was the situation where they were being, they basically stumbled upon the cult. And not long after, that's when, you know, everything began. No, 
Now what do I do with this fishing hook? <laughs> like, oh. I was just gonna say, it's like, what do I do now? But it, they're... Oh, which side of the room are we on? <laughs> Dentist room. All right. We can just go out into the hall. Wrong door. Because we're close to the meeting room anyways. Well then. <clears throat> X-ray images. I was gonna say, right, that door was sealed up before. Didn't think anything of it, but that's what's open now. They go, what was that clinking noise? That was the shotgun. say back in time what I was going to say, we need an eye. Is scalpel really the best thing to do that with? My right eye. I can't believe I did that to myself. I was gonna say, gonna bandage it up? <clears throat> Cause yeah, we need an eye. Cause if Emma, or Anna is pr most definitely dead. Dedication. Late last night, someone broke into the mansion. A young and reckless woman. I do not know what brought her here, nor do I care. I hit her over the head with a lead pipe, which I admit was unwise. I had hit her much harder. Had I hit her much harder, she would not have survived, but a potential test subject would have been wasted. She's now unconscious when this assist assisted ventilation. Once she has stabilized, I will inject her with Maria's blood. I'm close to finding the cure. Wait for Maria. Just a little longer. Okay. So dad was still alive. I go, you know, this seems like it all happened like eight ages ago. But yep, we came home and dad immediately conked us. Okay. Nope, none of that. Okay, just trying to be cautious in case more enemies pop up. Like a new spawning. Hmm. 
Now if we can get back to the vault. I think it was this way. <clears throat> Just try to remember my way around. Because yeah, Emma or Anna is definitely dead, and even if she wasn't, no, she doesn't have any eyes to work with. So again, kind of like temporal paradox, uh, timey wimey nonsense. We went back in time to pluck out one of our eyes in order to get into the vault in order to maybe find her. Which I don't see. Well, whatever. I'm going the wrong way. Sorry, I got myself turned around. Because I'm like, well, wait, why would that work? It's both of our eye. Well, I suppose it's less about... I don't know. Are we going the right way? Am I doing this right? Or no, we came through here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm so turned around. How do we... Was it this way? No. Wait. Yes. Sorry. No. What? No, there was another door here, right? I am so turned around. It, okay, we're gonna save real quick. Should probably wrap up, but I'm curious if we just keep going. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I am so turned around. Where is... I go, if we pull out the lighter and the light at the same time, do we get more light? Not really, no. I go, it's like, well, if we needed... if. Both of our eyes would have worked. Okay, gee, I was right there and I just got confused. No, 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 not this way. You know, if one of the twins' eyes could have worked to open the door, uh, whatever. Then why didn't the guy think to take out Emma's eyes and give it a shot? <laughs> oh, right, it was the right eye. No? Oh, I bet. So we can dangle it. Ugh. I was wondering. Tee hee. Uh, yourself, can't you do it? Okay, hold on, am I missing something? Red button, oh. Sorry, I'm looking at the guide again, it's just sort of like, okay. Sacrifice. Again, uh, Noah, as dedicated as he was, uh, we are trapped. Have we been fooled? Okay, you were Noah the entire time. I got it backwards.
I suppose it would have made sense. He was the religious one, but so was, uh, um, uh, William. Grandfather Noah? Now I remember you. Oh, God. You have your memories back. Then you no, wait, I did have it right. Jesus. Sorry, Bertrand's the bastard. Sorry. You and your sister. Uh. Wait. A sacrifice that could have brought back our sins. No, I got it right, wrong again. God Jesus. God Sorry, I'm getting. There are so many names. This is all your fault. Did you kill my father, too? The radiation that comes from the sacred placenta is extremely harmful to us, impure and worthless beings. Sorry, I'm getting... Pss I'm getting turned around. I get what's going on. I'm just getting confused. For years, like, Bertram and his son, William... I'm sorry, Harry I got them all confused. Jesus, there is so much going on. Some radiation. Today, William succeeded. With this accomplished... I have no use for him anymore. May God welcome him into his realm. You will pay for this, Noah. What have you done to my sister? Where is she? Your sister is just another tool for me to awaken our savior. Follow me if you want your answers. Okay. Sorry. Hey, wait. Where do you think you're going? I understand what's going on. Trust me. And just like I'm getting all the names confused, and it's been a while. A suit to keep out radiation. I can feel someone staring at me from the inside. Maria has escaped with the girls. I will stay at the temple, blocking the door from the inside to keep the cult members locked in for as long as possible. Seven bolts will not protect me for long, but I will try to make each one count. William, I do not ask you to forgive me. I do not deserve it. But if one of these letters makes it to you, I want you to know that I am sorry. From the bottom of my rotten soul, I am sorry for everything. Bertrand's... Well, this is his father's diary. Because he was a cultist as well. So, at the very least, Bertrand and Noah were in on this, except Bertrand decided to, like, have his change of heart while Noah progressed even further. <clears throat> and I go, maybe he did think of that idea where just like, alright, we'll take out some eyes. Hammer. Something can be placed here. Uh... Oh, I get it. I was gonna say, we've been holding on to this lock for the entire time. Okay, that's clever. I was... It came together. I don't know what terrors I'll face below, but if Anna is there, I will find her, no matter what. And that's the thing she's been seeing in her dreams as well. Like, that was what was shown on the TV, is getting into this bunker. Okay, this feels like a... <clears throat> it has been six months since that damn Bertram closed the vault from the inside. I hardly recognize myself anymore. We should have been protected from radiation. We were supposed to be the chosen ones. What does it mean? Are we not worthy? Our suits have served only to delay the blood poisoning process. Nothing more. Bertram's promised us a cure, but at this point, I don't think there is any hope for me. I hear clanking and noises.
I need some morphine. Okay, I see. Close. No, close, open. Open. I feel like we gotta get something flowing before that even matters. <clears throat> Yesterday I tried pumping gas into a canister, but it didn't matter how much I spun the handles. Not a drop of gas came out, even though it was full. I told the boss what had happened, and he looked extremely disappointed. He grabbed three small ha handles, said, wait here, and then left. He came back 15 minutes later with a full canister of gas. So it's got a, but I probably need a gas canister of some kind. This would be a good wrap up point, but I gotta find a. I was gonna say, I should have known. I found some morphine. <clears throat> We've done it. After failed attempts with previous test subjects, we were able to bring two healthy twin girls into the world. I do not know if I will be able to, capable of repeating this feat, this is, but this is progress. We will wait until the subject turns ten years old for the sacrifice. For now, these results brought peace to our members. I can say this is still Bertrand's diary. I feel like we're getting whoop, we're getting close. I just gotta find a wrap up point though. Oh, he died. Okay. Two. I feel like he glitched out. Oh. Okay, I feel like that was a glitch, but he's dead.
prison. Jeez. Human skeletons, these people died a long time ago. Bones are fractured. What happened to these people? I'm gonna say clobbered and beaten by these guys with their hammers. Yeah, just torture rooms. Okay, worn gas canister. So we need that. I gotta find a save. I really just gotta... They may have died right here. <clears throat> At first I thought that my brothers did not take off their suits because they still retained hope that they... that uh, were mitigating the radiation, but now I understand. They know very well what that they will find under those rotten ornaments if they took them off. Fetid rotten meat hanging from monstrous bodies. I can't take it anymore. This place is living death. I want to pray before I kill myself, but it, in the depths of this cursed place, not even God can come with his light. Down here exists only evil. Self-awareness, you, you know, cultist uh, scumbags. Kind of fumbled there, but you get what I mean. Morphine. What was that? There's no way I'm looking inside. I hear noises. It makes me think there's another one somewhere. Med kit. Relief. Iron lung. They were used during their... Okay. Oop. I was going to say, Iron Lung, kind of like Markiplier's movie that's eventually coming out. Uh, Edge of Sleep is pretty good on Amazon Prime, and he reached his goal of getting into the top ten, so he even got pretty high into it. Last night, well, I don't know if it got higher than a uh, five, which was last time I saw it, but, um, or no, six. But still, Iron Lung, whenever that happens to come out, unrelated, but just on my mind. Sorry, shotgun's just easy to take those guys out. Nails. Running out of resources. <clears throat> this is going to be a shortcut, but... Okay, we need gas for this. Lower level is completely flooded. Probably get the pump going and then opens that, or drains that, so we can get deeper in.
Large pile of children's shoes. There are so many. The sacrifices have worked well ap <clears throat> after being purified with boiling water. I feel close to the coming of the Creator with each attempt. Uh huh. through here. Sorry, turned around. Just trying to... You no, know, we came from here. Right? Hold on. We didn't go this way. <coughs> I don't think. Yeah, we did. Shoot. The day the sacrifice has come. Noah has taken the girls to the temple. I must finish getting ready to officiate the ritual. Has the suit always felt so heavy over my shoulders? I need a drink. Okay, this is when uh, Bertrand got doubts. He was totally willing to sacrifice his kids, but then he changed his mind last minute. So that's the only reason everyone had a chance to try and escape, but, you know, didn't really work. been through here. Shoot. Sorry, I am so confused. I'm sure that's the point, but God, I could use a map. We don't have a map, do we? Do we get bunker? Nope. So like, I want to find a save point. Jesus. through here. Uh, shoot. Oh, yeah, that leads to the prison. Nope, can't... That's not where we're supposed to go. <clears throat> no, we've been through here. Jesus. I am so lost. Ugh. Bunker stairs. Oh, okay, here's the stairwell. It's like, but I don't see anything. Oh. I just missed him. Okay, here we go. Save room. Sorry. Screw on metal cap. I think we gotta find another one of these. Okay. <clears throat> Save point. Maybe next time we'll finish up. I felt like... I thought we were close like three episodes ago. I'm Emma. I remember everything. I fell into the river from the bridge all these years ago. Noah is keeping my sister Anna in the underground bunker. He is the one who has engineered all of this. He has had my sister in captivity all this time. I won't let Noah hurt her any longer. 
This ends now. I'm getting there. Okay. We'll wrap up here for right now. Next time we continue, we will carry on, and we will... Ugh, pretty simple. We got... Thing is, we got the gas can, but I think we need, like, a third pipe cap or something. I guess we'll find out. So, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.